Ain't got no worries, okay? Damn, that girl in my shorty, what? I pull up the party, what? Damn, I play with like Cardi, I don't, damn. She feeling like Cardi, she feeling like Cardi. She sipping Bacardi, she sipping Bacardi. yeah. Toyota no Rari, no Rari. She fit like a Barbie, yeah. What is up loves? Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up, what's goody? If you're not new here, stay with me. Hey girl, hey. If you happen just to stumble upon my channel for the first time, make sure you guys are subscribed down below. And if this is not your first time and you're still not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. But today we're going to be working out our back and buy. Now this isn't my exact routine when it comes to my back and buy. I do have more exercises. But I'm in the process of kind of tweaking it just a little bit and seeing what really, really works. And I definitely feel like this workout, it's going to hit the spot. I definitely feel like it's going to hit the spot. I do feel like a lot of people do neglect upper body, especially as women. We tend to not want to look masculine and look too big up top. But me personally, I want to have that back. And because I see so much progress, it just pumps me to really get to where I want to be. So today we're going to be doing a workout with me. I really love filming these. Looking back on at the footage, like this is definitely A1. So I hope that you guys are inspired by this workout and I hope that you guys are motivated to hit the gym and grow that back, baby. Grow that back. So let's go ahead and hop into this video. Hey loves, welcome to a workout with me. Come to the gym with me. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we are hitting a pull day, which is going to be our back and by day. Literally one of my favorite days to work out. As you guys know, one of my goals this year is to grow my back and we are definitely seeing some progress. I am definitely lifting heavy in this workout. But first, before we start, we have to pick our corner, as you guys can see, set up our camera and let's go ahead and get into this workout. I'm gonna start off with some dynamic stretching. Make sure you guys are dynamic stretching before your workouts and doing static stretching after your workouts I will have some examples down below and on the screen as well of what those may look like I'm starting off with some arm circles I'm going to be doing clockwise and then counterclockwise and doing each arm separately I definitely feel like I target my um, joints better when I do that and then I'm going to move it into some arm swings just making sure that I just warm up my upper body and holding it for like at least five seconds before I move on to the other arm my arms have been sore because I have been lifting more heavier than before before I was working on form and perfecting it and making sure that I was hitting what I need to hit and making sure that I was working on my muscle mind connection now because I am better with that i am lifting more heavier on my upper body days as well as my lower body days then i'm going to move into some open door stretches i call this open door i don't know exactly what this is called but basically you want to put your hand on the wall and then pretty much kind of rotate your body to the opposite side just to really um get that joint nice and stretch and i'm just gonna hold that for a good like 15 seconds i really like these because they relieve all like the soreness and the tension that i have in my arms and just making sure that my shoulder joint is nice and relaxed and it is warmed up to hit the upper body day <laughs> Then we're going to pick up the PVC pipe that you can get from your gym. Some gyms have like the little resistant bands. My gym just has these little pipes that you can put in through like a little ladder. I use that to do the shoulder dislocations, I think they're called. I don't know exactly what they're called, but I think they're called that. And I do front and back and then I um, do like alternating sides as you guys can see i don't know the exact name of these things but yeah these are pretty typical for a dynamic stretching for upper body um i just really love these because they give me full range of motion and i'm able to really just get in there and it just kind of works as like in like a warm-up agent like i don't know it just works and i do these for my upper body days a lot and even when i'm doing full body as well i do want to hold this position for a few seconds so that way i'm making sure that like i really get into my arms and all of that and i'm going to do these for a couple minutes and then i'm going to move into some push-ups mr j is hitting 
Another part of my warm up is to knock out some push ups. I am not the best at these, but I am getting better every time I have done them. I used to start off by doing like one or two. Now I can move to six and seven, and then my arms start to give out. I was able to knock out these amount, and I've definitely been progressing. I like to do these on upper body days just to test my strength and really make sure that I am really pushing myself to my limits. And push ups are a really good, like, full, like a full body workout, honestly. And I really love them. They're just a part of my warm up to really warm up those muscles and get like my. My arms ready for my movements all right guys so here is the meat and potatoes of this video it is my full workout now this is not my exact workout but this is the workout that I did for the day we're gonna start off with some assisted pull-ups now I cannot do a pull-up to save my life I don't know about you guys but I'm just not there yet. I'm still building that strength to be able to push myself up with my my back rather than my arms. That's another tip that I would recommend is you're going to want to pull up with your shoulder blades and your back blades more than you are with your arms. You're going to tire your arms out way more. I'm doing a set of two and doing um, 15 reps. I had to remind myself, but I'm doing 15 reps and I'm doing them slow and controlled because of the simple fact that I'm still working on how to like really engage my back when doing these. So I'm just doing them slow and controlled. I did put the weight to 80. I Last week I was at 90, so I'm making a progression going up and hopefully we're able to do a pull up by the end of this year, but I'm just making sure that I do it nice slow and controlled and of course i have to finish my pre-workout because i didn't finish it so we're going to chug that bad boy down and hop into our last set <laughs> Moving into our second exercise is obviously going to be some lat pull downs. These are a staple for back exercises. They're just a staple. They're a must. One of the things that I like to do is do like a working weight, a warm up weight, and then I do a working weight. So I start off with like 50, do a couple reps of those, and then I move over to 70 and then finish off with 80. But I do 80 with less reps just because I'm still building myself up to doing proper form when I hit a higher weight. So one of the things I did realize while I was doing my lat pull downs is that I was releasing too quickly going up. You kinda wanna take your time. You wanna bring it to your chest and lean back just a little bit and then slowly bring the bar back up. And I'm always second guessing my form when I do lat pull downs, but then when I replay my videos, I'm like, you have good form, like this is pretty decent. Like, it's not bad. So I'm gonna do a set of three times 10 and then for my last set i do about like maybe six to eight for our next exercise we're moving to some seated cable pulls now there are so many variations of this exercise that target so many muscles in your back i'm doing the variation where you lean forward and you bring it just right up into where your elbows meet your body um i really love doing these i've been lifting more heavier with these and i definitely feel it in my back i want to make sure that i'm doing them nicely slow and controlled say with me slow and controlled probably one of like the major keys when working out is you want to take your time when doing these do not rush before when i was rushing i didn't really feel it. i didn't have my muscles didn't get a chance to actually feel it and now they feel them so i did go up and wait and then i'm going to start over again and really do some really nice slow and controlled movements now with this um variation i'm just doing um, a little slight lean and then just bring it up to my chest and making sure that I can feel it in my inner back and so there are so many variations of doing these but I'm doing three sets of 12 and then just going up and weight each set. Mm -hmm. 
something serious when I take off my sweatshirt and put on my wrist wraps I am doing a superset this is single arm bent over rows and barbell curls now I used to do these but then I stopped them I switched them out for another exercise but then I was like you know what? let's go back to doing these and big difference in my back like I feel it in all my muscles I am moving up in weight for each set and for my barbell curls I am just keeping this pound like I'm not going up in set because I do end up doing something else for my biceps and I'm not looking to grow grow my biceps I'm looking to grow them but not too much but I love 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 single arm bent over rows they target the back exactly where you need them to be as you guys can see I'm jamming out I want you guys to guess what song i'm listening to if you guys can correct if you guys can correctly guess it i have something for you okay period i love listening to music while i'm in the gym and as you guys can see i was jamming but i love doing bent over rows it's just something about like lifting heavy that i just really love um i'm learning to really appreciate working on my upper body and this is probably one of my favorite workouts that i've ever done and as you guys can see this is my last set and i'm lifting pretty heavy and my form wasn't the best but i could just bend over just a little bit more but i was making sure that i actually like hit my back like i said before slow and controlled and making sure that i am really making that muscle mind connection as you guys can see my arms my shoulder my when y'all see my back in this exercise, please do not come for me. Don't even say nothing to me. My back is growing. exercise of the day you guys really don't need a lot of exercises when working out I try to keep my exercises to four to five and do a superset in between those but for our very last exercise we are doing some face pulls now baby when I tell you guys I started lifting heavy with these I'm just gonna say the results will show okay and when I flip the camera to show my back you guys will see what I'm talking about but we're doing some face pulls we're doing three sets of as many reps as possible and I am going up in weight for each set now I know this probably needs like a certain amount of reps but for me I feel like face pulls aren't hard to do so I do a good amount of them when it comes to doing face pulls and as you guys can see like look at my back yo y'all see that <laughs> like i am so impressed i am so proud of myself and y'all like the pump was coming through and all i can say is this is it like that's it this is chef's kiss like look at my back look at the muscles like i didn't think i was gonna get to this point but just seeing that like looking back at this i am getting there i am that girl like this is giving a muscle mommy moment Yeah. 
to end off our back and by day we are going to hit the treadmill and run for about five to ten minutes i've been doing my best to hit some cardio after each workout it's not always guaranteed but we try i make sure i push myself put on some music that i knew was going to pump me up and run for those five to ten minutes all right guys so we are at the end of the video i really enjoyed training my back and just showing you guys how i work out if you guys are interested in more videos like this please go ahead and subscribe down below as well as leave a comment to let me know what you guys think and what you guys want to see in the future from me i definitely am going to be doing more workouts here on my channel so I do want to do like a week of workouts but I just got to figure out a week that I'm just not not busy I think once the semester ends I'll be able to do it because I'll have more time to actually work out rather than try to rush my workouts and actually film them I'm also in the process of looking at new gym so that's that but I hope that you guys really enjoyed the video I enjoyed filming it for you guys and putting it together and I hope that I reflected through my video and I will see you guys in my next video Bye.